crying. <laughs> Neither can they, apparently. Hi guys, welcome to Educating Shani. I'm Shani and I'm recovering from an eating disorder. Hi Shani, hi. Um, well, I just said goodbye to Danny and that's why I'm a mess because I'm a mess when he leaves, when he has to go out of town. It's just so scary for me and I always just wonder if He's gonna come back and he's got a really long drive and it's really slippery roads and our truck is just the pits man it is just breaking down every day with something new and and i'm just worried that's all and um i don't know i'm going to go and I just decorated upstairs for my mom. I did everything but the tree. I'm gonna do the tree later tonight because I'm just, my body's just not cooperating today. So I did all the other decorations, but not the tree yet. So I'll do that later. But um, I'm going to go and film the video for the first giveaway <gasps> for Shani's 12 days of giveaways. And I'm so freaking excited about it. So I'm gonna go film that video and post it soon. All right, so I just finished filming my video for the 12 days of giveaways, the, the first video. You'll, you've will you already seen it by now, actually. Yeah, you've already seen it. Um, so that's fun. I'm so excited about it. And I wish that like, if I had more money, I would just do this all day, every day. And like tons of just give, 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 give to people. Like I love, um, I should actually find a cliff and it sounds like I'm bragging but really it's it's more like I'm just trying to spread the joy of what I have been doing my whole life because you all do it too everyone does everyone has a good heart and everyone gives and everyone shares and and that's a great thing so I'm just like giving you the ways that I do that to inspire you I guess to help people because everyone in the world needs help and there's always people struggling but anyway I was watching a home video the other day maybe I can go find it and um, something that I used to do every Christmas when I was a little girl is I would ask Santa Claus to give me money for the poor um, and we were poor growing up we were very poor growing up um, I th I'm, I'm pretty sure my grandparents usually paid for our Christmas and stuff like that. But anyway, so I would ask Santa every year, please can I have money for the poor? And so every year Santa Claus would leave an envelope with my name on it in the tree and inside would be $10 usually. And I would take that $10 to donate it somewhere or I would take it to um, people that were in my school who I knew were really poor and that their family could use it, things like that. So. Like, I love, love, love doing that. I don't know, I like, it might sound like I'm being so giving and loving, but I'm actually doing it for selfish reasons because <laughs> it makes me feel good about myself. And you all do it too. We all do it in different ways. I'm just trying to share with you the ways that I do it. So I still, to this day, ask Santa Claus to give me money for the poor and um, he still brings it every year. So that's great. Um, yeah, I'm gonna try and find that video because it's adorable because What's happening? Or I'll just tell you. If I ever find it, then I'll tell you. But what is, why are, what, where, it's like a stream that won't end. So I was probably about nine years old, I think. Yeah, nine or 10 maybe. And my dad was just filming all of us opening our gifts from Santa. And I kept being like, Dad, come here. I want to tell you what Santa brought me. Mama, mama. And I just was the cutest little thing. And it's really good that I'm recognizing that because a year or two years ago, I didn't like myself as a little girl. I would look at pictures and I would feel ashamed of her. I would feel, and that's, I know that's ridiculous and that's sad, but it's just the truth. Like I just would feel like, wow, that girl is humongous and she's miserable and nobody loves her. Why is she even like, I used to be so hard on myself as a child, which is ridiculous. But over the past couple of years, I've learned to love that little girl and that's helping me heal. So, but anyway, so, um, so it's cool that I'm recognizing this, that I was a really, really sweet little girl. Um, cause I think that's super important for my recovery. So basically I had my mom or my dad, 
put the camera on me and I told him that Santa brought me money for the poor and I was telling him how there was a guy down the street and I don't even remember this honestly there was a guy down the street he had five kids and his wife was just killed like right before Christmas and I was like and so I really want to take that money over to him and I just know it's gonna help his family so much because in my mind ten dollars was a buttload of money but in you know that's not a lot of money but it's the thought that counts and it builds your character it builds who you are and it builds what you do so any chance you have to give to people that's why like Emily Vegan Flower freaking saved my channel and boosted it and saved me and helped me through so many things and so I've always 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 tried to pay it forward to other channels now like I did it yesterday with my brother um, I want to pay forward to what she did to me because that just meant the world to me that she took the time when I had like 200 subscribers to give me a huge shout out and to tell all of her subscribers to come to me and a whole bunch of them did a whole bunch of you did and you came from Emily's channel and like I will never forget that and so I've just been trying to pass that on and so if I pass that on to you somehow and and your channel is growing then pass that on to somebody else who deserves it and just get everybody you know to get what they deserve because all of us especially especially um, the type of channel that we have going on like not to trivialize other channel other channels are amazing and great And you guys know that I have favorite channels that are have nothing to do, do with mental health They're just fun channels and they're comedy and stuff like that, but um, But I think that what we're doing as far as mental health talking about eating disorders and cutting and and um, bipolar and all kinds of mental health diseases that we are spreading through YouTube it's becoming popular and I'm watching all those people that do fun channels and only comedy and only fun and things like that I'm starting to see them talk more about their mental issues that they have kept hidden and I'm not saying that we did that but I feel like we did that not we as in my channel I'm talking everybody on YouTube who talks about mental health I feel like it's starting to be a little bit more popular to talk to talk about it if you have a mental health disorder and so that's freaking amazing like that was one of my biggest goals was to contribute to people who had already started doing that when I started my channel I wanted to join in and get as many people as we could talking about it talking about eating disorders and whatever whatever you can so I'm super proud of all of you there's like I don't know a dozen of you that started channels because of me and I know that that's going to be that's going to be given to somebody else too some of your subscribers those dozens of you that started your channel because of me you are going to have subscribers someday that are going to start their channels because of you some of you already do you like you will also spread this and encourage people to get talking about it and to do it so that's like super duper awesome and i'm i could not be more proud of you guys and i could not be more proud of myself did I just say that out loud? What the crap just happened? I don't know. So I'm just so excited. This really kind of cheered me up now. Now I'm like really cheery. That really cheered me up to do that video. So anyway, my point is, is give in any way that you can. And there's always somebody out there that's struggling that you can give to. Um, one of our favorite things to do, I think I already told you guys this, but I'll tell you again is one of, one of our favorite things to do, because Danny will not allow me, well, he, I, I can do it if I want, but Danny does not want me to give money like cash to people on the streets, like homeless people that hold up the signs on the corner or whatever. Like he doesn't want me to give, give them cash because he's worried that they'll just buy drugs or alcohol. And I've always had the point of view like, well, but the point is, is that we're still giving to them and that will bless us and that could bless them and we don't know that. We can't always judge and assume that they're all addicted to drugs and I'm sure a lot of them are. So anyway, we came up with a compromise which we went to Burger King and we're gonna go to other fast food places too that are open all the time and we just got some gift cards. And so if we ever see somebody on the street um, that says that they're hungry and they need money for food, we just give them a gift card to you know whatever I mean they're not very expensive gift cards because we can't afford very much but we just do that's why we do fast food because it's cheapest and so we just get them 10 or 15 dollar gift cards and tell them to go get some food and that way it 
everyone's happy. Danny's happy, I'm happy, they're happy, hopefully. So it's just the little things sometimes and you never know, you never know if you might be um, changing someone's life just for that one day and that might inspire that person to change their life forever. Okay, I'm done bragging about myself. I really don't mean this to be like I'm bragging. I just really want to share, 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 share the part of me. One of the only parts of me that I love, that I've said all the time, that's the only thing I love about myself is my my big golden heart and, and I'm learning to share that more. And that's okay. Um, or at least I've been told it's okay. <laughs> so maybe if I keep practicing it, then it will start to feel okay to me. Like really, really okay to do that. But so anyway, if you guys missed the video, go check it out. These are the giveaways. So this is going international and this is going in the United States. Go check out the video if you missed it. I'll put the link below. And then tomorrow night's vlog, Tuesday night's vlog, I will announce the winners and I'll show you what I'm gonna give away that day. So yeah, so I'm excited. So I love you guys. And um, I don't know if I'm going to end it now. I'll probably be back later. So 